All right, a couple of weeks ago, as most of you know, my old food saver died and I needed a vacuum sealer. So I pretty much went on Amazon, looked for the one with the um, the best, highest reviews and, you know, best ratings and watched a couple of YouTube videos. And I decided to order this Avid Armor A100. Um, you know, it had all good reviews and everything. So figured I'd give it a try. Um, it arrived in a couple days in good shape it came with a couple bags to uh, actually get started and then i did buy several hundred more bags to um to use and you can see it's got like a replaceable steel strip and there's a heat bar down there and for some reason the heat bar is really low under the seal and the top just closes there it also came with a accessory hose that kind of a loose fit in that top there but it did you know it did fit in there and it it's got a you can adjust the seal time on it there and it doesn't have a power on and off switch it just has a button there that little red light is always on so i figured now i'm just gonna try it this is when i first opened it up my wife had some of her sugar-free candies there that we buy in bulk and figured i'd try sealing some and you can see it um you know i ran the full cycle of the seal here and it did do a really nice job it it pulled the bag in pulled a really good vacuum on it and sealed it. It took, uh, I think, 12 seconds to pull the vacuum and another three to seal. It's a decent looking seal. It's, you know, it's not clear all the way through or anything like that, but it's pretty good looking. And you can mess with the time. And it did come out, you know, a good vacuum on it. So I decided to, you know, just try another another bag of that there and kind of testing it out. And all these seals that I'm doing are in the real time. Um, there's no change to any of the video speed or anything on both machines. So same thing, you know, same results there. It just counts down, pulls a full vacuum. And uh, when it does pull out full vacuum, it does pull the uh, lid far enough down so uh, that top piece of rubber strip hits a heat seal. And then I had some of my uh, zucchini snacks. I've been running, you know, dehydrator full after dehydrator full of them. And I figured I was going to, you know, just try this with the jar lid sealer. And it's one of the main uses for these things. So uh, you just plug it in the side there and plug it in the top. And then hit the, um, the accessory button there and... It automatically pulls the vacuum and then it, when it's done it shuts down and uh, pulls the seal. But it does take, it did take a while, almost as long as the old food saver used to take to, to pull these jars down. But I think um, in the end it does pull a little bit more vacuum than the uh, food saver does. It was a really, a really good seal there. And, you know, you can see I'm just going to do an empty jar here just to test the seal. And this is a commercial rated unit also. This is made to be used day in and day out. Um, it does not have an oil pump. It's got an oil-free pump, so I'm not sure how long it will last. But, um, you know, they call it commercial. So, again, I just pulled the seal. And you can see it's a... It's a pretty good seal. I didn't grab it good the first time, but got to really yank on these things to get them open. And, you know, it did have a nice seal and everything, so looks like it'll work for that. Uh, there is no place to store the hose on it, so you have to... I just wrapped it around the lid there while I was using it. And then while I was at it, my wife had some... She makes up this granola for us, so... I just decided to uh, cut down a bag and try to make a, a short bag full of it there. About, you know, one one serving you can throw in your pocket. And this is the, um, you know, these are those, the Avid Armor bags, which I really do like. And they're about a quarter of the cost of the Food Saver bags. So I put that in and then you have to push down pretty good on it. And you can see once it, once it starts pulling the vacuum, it sucks that lid down and it makes a seal. And again, there is a you know pretty decent seal. It's not clear all the way through. Um, and to get an extended warranty on it, if you uh, give a good review of it, you um, you send in a picture, you uh, you get a two-year warranty on it. And you can see it's all made of stainless steel, and this actually is made in China, um, just like the Food Saver one. 
So then we were doing up some beans. We were getting ready to freeze them. And I just, uh, you know, put some, some in each bag, about a pound of beans in each bag. And then the same thing. I'm going to just run a full a full vacuum on it. There's no adjustability on this vacuum. You do have the pulse, but I'll show you the problem with that in a second. So um, you either have a choice of pretty much, um, you know, full or no way to adjust it. So you hold down on that, push down on that bar, and um, the oh beans God. actually, uh, they did come out. You know, it got a halfway decent seal there. It's, uh, it seems to have some hotter spots than others in it for some reason, looking at it the way it seals. But, you know, it is, uh, it is a good seal that'll hold. And then I decided to do some rice. We've been trying to stock up on some of the items that we ran short of when the pandemic started. So we figured we'd get them uh, stored away. And uh, I had them in jars, but then I decided, well, I'm going to put them in bags now because I need the jars for the zucchini. So same thing. I uh, put the rice in the bag and pulled the vacuum on it. And it did uh, It did pull a really good vacuum on it. You can see that. Um, Actually, it turned out, I'll show you in a little while, it turned out that it was a little bit much vacuum for the bag itself. But, uh, you know, so there it is. I had four bags of, uh, this was a 20-pound bag, so I had like four or five-pound bags here that I was making up to, to store away, uh, you know, just in case we have another food shortage time where we can't go out this fall. And again, it does when you're running the, the full seal on it, it, it works perfect and it you know pulls a good vacuum and uh, it actually functions right. So there are the four bags and uh, I'll show you a little later what happened in a couple days. Now, I could not get the impulse seal for making bags to work. I tried approximately 25 30 times this is just some of the times I've um, I had to adjust the seal time and I tried uh, you know you just couldn't get it to pull the seal down I could push it down as hard as I could but that rubber strip over the heating element would not touch the bag to the make the bag touch the heat strip um, it was like no way as long as that bag had leaked leakage through it um, which they're you know they're uh, corrugated back on these bags it was like impossible to get a seal on them um, I, I did contact Avid Armor about the the problem I was having with the poles which pretty much is the same as this and they said you have to push harder because new seals are tough but um, I wound up finally in the end putting uh, all of my weight on it but you can see none of them where I, I really pushed down. I was pushing hard on it just to try to get a seal at this point. Because they had told me push harder. And uh, I just could not get this impulse seal to work. I did finally get one. But, uh, you know, this, this really was aggravating to me. Because there was no way that the, uh, the lid could be pulled down without that vacuum. And with the bag leaking air through it, there's no way to pull the vacuum. So... You know, this, this thing really needs something to... If you're going to use bags that aren't pre-made, uh, you know, I, I definitely don't recommend this machine. But eventually I did turn the, turn the seal up to uh, four. and You can see the, the seal does get hot there to strip, but the, the bag just does not get pushed down against it. That, that heat strip is actually um, recessed down into the machine a little bit there too so finally there I, I put about 200 pounds 225 pounds of force on it um, and this is really the pain and I did get um, a seal on that one it's not really a good seal but I did get a seal and then once you get one seal um, you're able to to go back and uh, you know once you got a partly sealed then it'll pull down and get a seal on the next one so, you know, this is something I, I I looked at reviews and nobody tried making bags or nobody tried to pulse. And, um, you know, these were the results that I got. So there you see the second one. Once you've got a partial seal, it works. So then I, you know, I went back and had another batch of the zucchini to, uh, to vacuum pack in the jars. 
and I'm about done making that now. I've got, I probably threw about 300 pounds of zucchini in my compost pile today because I can't find anybody that even wants them anymore. There's so many zucchini this year. But this does work good for, you know, vacuum packing jars. You can see it does a good job on them and it does pull a, a good vacuum. Now here's that rice. Uh, two days later, the bags, three of the four bags were all loose. Um, turned out it pulled such a, a good vacuum on it that uh, the little round end grains of the rice had stretched the, uh, eventually just stretched through the bag after a couple days. So I had to double bag it and reseal it. Um, I cut that seal off. And then uh, we're doing eggplant up. My wife uh, breaded them and I fried them up and getting ready to freeze them. Now these are they're really tender at this stage, so you have to be careful when you vacuum pack them. And we've been using the old food saver for years with the pulse. And, you know, I would just pull down the pulse and then you hit the button and that was it. You're, you're packed so you didn't destroy them. So I, uh, I went through and I just put enough to fill the air fryer up in each bag because we uh, we use that for reheating them. They, they come out just like the day you, you fried them up if you use the air fryer. And I'm just using the, um, the little bit oversized quart bags here. So I got a batch of them all lined up, ready to go. And this time I'm going to, you know, definitely use the pulse on them because I don't want to squish them down so they stick together and rip the breading off them because that would be a disaster. So um, I went through and, you know, you, you start the pulse, you put it in the pulse mode, and then you hit the button, and you get to where you want the vacuum to be, and then you hit the seal button. And you push down while you're doing that. And it only pulls vacuum for a couple of seconds, but um, this, it doesn't go down far enough to seal right. It, you get a, a seal that's not good and um, a leaky seal. So then I found out what you had to do to get a good seal on each of these bags. I had to go back and seal it again. But the trouble was when you do the second seal with the full cycle there, it pulls the eggplant down, squishes them together, and it's going to ruin them when you open them up. So I, um, I basically you know, got really frustrated here. I ruined about 10 bags of eggplant. Um, and I said, that's it. I, you know, This is going back. I, I just can't live with this because... Um, most of the stuff that we do like this is, uh, you know, it's done with pulse, and if I can't control that, it's no good to me. Um, so, you know, basically in the end, I'm going to say if you got, if you want to use this just to like pull vacuum on jars or to um, pull things with full vacuum, you know, pull down like hard items like cheese and stuff like that it's a good machine for you and it probably will you know last a long time but for my use it turned out um, it, I mean it's a fast machine compared to a food saver but when you have to do things twice it's not fast anymore it's just frustrating there you can see I got second time you get a seal it's you can't really get a perfect seal. It seems like they, that heat strip may even have um, hot spots in it or something where some of the areas come out better than the others. But, uh, you know, this was the, the icing on the cake. And at this point in time, I did uh, request a return through Amazon. And um, Avid Armor did accept the return and they um they gave me a refund on it so you know they paid for the shipping back gave me a refund so they do have a good return policy if you do have a problem and it doesn't work out for you but um you know so basically i you know i i just couldn't you know see using this machine for a long time yeah. I can see where this machine would be a good machine if they put some kind of a lock on that cover there and they gave you some kind of adjustability on the vacuum other than the pulse. But um, it just it just didn't work out. So and I decided, okay, now I'm going to you know pack this up, send it back, and start looking around for another machine because you can't be without one this time of the year. And it turned out that any of the other higher-end ones like this were actually um, sold out and not going to be in stock for quite some time. So uh, I, I decided, okay, I'm going to just, I, I got five years out of the uh, the first food saver. Um, you know, I had some aggravation on it because of the switch for starting the thing. But um, 
it did do a good job and I didn't have to you know use any excess of pressure and my wife could use it easy and stuff and you know I never ever had to do a double seal on it and the, the pulse worked every time so I decided I was going to uh, head back to a food saver so there's the eggplant you can see they all had to be double sealed to get them and they're over sealed and here's some uh, zucchini snacks I tried pulling down and you can see bad seal and I went back did them again and I wound up crushing them all and ruining them so, um, you know, it wasn't just the eggplant, it was everything with the pulse. So, as I said, I, you know, I packed that up, sent it back, um, did a return on it, and that all went well. And then I, I went down to Costco today, and I figured, well, they had the food savers in stock, and I grabbed one. It actually turned out that it was on sale, too, so I got this for 100 bucks. Um, and it's you know it's not a heavy duty machine or anything else it's built like my last one it's a, a fairly light machine um but i figure at costco at least it's got a guarantee it did come with some bags and a, a little roll and stuff and you know it was packed pretty good it it did make a trip from china so they have to pack it good and they even put like a um a cloth around it there to you can wipe your fingerprints off with if you wanted to and basically this is, um, I like this machine because my last machine, you sucked a bag in and it started automatically. And that was always a problem. After about three months of use, that started hanging up and not working. And this one actually, you just close it just like that Avid Armor one. Um, it's not clear, you can't see, but you close it and lock it. And uh, it's much easier to use than my other food saver. And it also has the accessory hose on it. That was a, a must and this hose uh i did read the instructions finally and found out that you pull that little end reservoir off and it works with these lids like that and it fits nice and snug in the lid so that's a big plus for this and it's you know it's definitely a lot you can feel it's about half the weight of that uh, avid armor one and um it's definitely not a heavy duty machine but hopefully it'll get me through a couple of years so I had um, just trying this here on some pasta that we bought. We decided to stock up on some pasta too, and we found some real good Italian pasta at Costco um, that was a reasonable price. So we bought uh, six pounds of it. And the bags that the pasta comes in are those little hard bags that kind of leak. So I wanted to vacuum pack it before I store it away, so it won't pick up any other flavors or smells or anything and you notice it did take a little while to pull the vacuum on these bags because it was actually trying to pull all the air out from the bag inside too but it wound up doing a really good job um you know just just a hair less vacuum i'm going to say than that uh, avid armor one but did a good job and a perfect seal first time no no pushing no you know shoving or anything it just just close it over like that lay the bag flat just flip the lock and hit the button and uh you know this this kind of is what makes me happy i wish i could find something like this that would work a little bit faster and with a little bit heavier duty but um you know this this really you can see there's another bag that i just did same thing um does take a little bit longer it is you know i i will admit it's slower but it's much easier to use for me and even my wife likes this one better and you just have to wait for that little light to go out on the seal and then you can unlock it uh, when you turn that lock to latch it it actually turns the machine on so you don't have to turn the power button on or off and there you can see another perfect seal and you know here's just i wound up doing six of these and uh these are all you know like i said before these are all real time seals of what each one did And again, the same thing here. Um, so far, no miss seals, and you know, every one of them is perfectly clear all the way across. And this is using the Avid Armor bags. I really like those bags. They are so much, they feel heavier than the Food Saver bags, and they're about 25% the cost of the Food Savers. I'll put some links to them in the end. But, um, so there's another one, and same thing just uh just flip it up no pushing no shoving you don't need big muscles to work it so you know it looks like uh hopefully this one will last and 
If not, I'll return it to Costco. But you know, you can see it did it did pull a really great vacuum on them and um, great seal first time, no problem. So so far, I'm happy here. And we'll continue on to some other things. And here you can see these. Uh, it was, that pasta had like a three-year date on it, so that'll be good to store away for the next uh, pandemic or whatever. And then I've got more of these zucchini slices. I've got them coming out of my ears. Um, we love them, but they've got to be vacuum packed to instantly to keep them crispy. So and the same thing. I'm just running a vacuum pack on them. And you can see this does take a little bit longer than the that Avon Armor one did. Um, it just does pull a nice vacuum on them all. So I think it's just a little bit less. But um, it's real close. And actually I think this one's a little bit quieter too when it's running. So you can see there was a you know a fairly decent seal on there. Um, not not quite as strong as the the other one, but you know this is I think this will be plenty good enough for us. It's about equal to my old food saver, and you know it does pull down, shut off, and it works every time. So it's nice having a a new machine. So now they also included some of these Ziploc bags with it. Came with a dozen of these in different sizes, I think. And um, these are some of those dehydrated cucumber snacks. I've been doing them too, and they are just as good as zucchini. A little bit stronger flavored, but they're really good. So I wanted to try one of these bags with that. And you put that little attachment back on there, and you just hold the, um, the attachment right over that little round spot on the bag, and you can pulse back it. So that you don't uh, destroy what's in it. You just hit that pulse button a couple times, and the bag is sealed. And you know, it, I've been checking it every couple hours, and it's been staying sealed. So, uh, you know, it looks like these are going to be pretty cool too. And now for the true test of the pulse back, I got out some of my chips, put them in a bag, and I said, "Well, we're gonna, you know, see how this works, right?" right here and we're gonna pick about the worst case scenario so I just uh, you know I'm gonna do the pulse on it you hit the button there's diff all different modes on it um, you really have to look at the instructions and read them to see how it works and what it actually does but I was able to pull the pulse down until I heard a, like one or two chips crack and then hit the seal and um, and nothing you know no more vacuum pulled on it no air let out or anything so um, and here you can see got a perfect seal no problems and no smashed chips so you know that's the part that I was really uh, I really need in a sealer and uh, you know this one seems to fit the bill it's not a heavy-duty one but it should last and then here's some Swiss cheese we got at Costco we like to break all the packages down and vacuum pack the cheese because this lasts a lot longer and, you know, so you know, here I'm going to show you the same thing a hard uh, block of cheese and full vacuum and it does pull down nice and you know it does do a good job on the seal so in the end it, it, it looks like this is uh, it's not a commercial duty machine and it's not going to last as long as that other one but it's going to be a lot less aggravation for us and I was really surprised that I wound up going back to a food saver machine. But um, this one, they seem to have solved the problem on the original one that I had. And there again, perfect seal, good vacuum, everything's good. So. And you can put a roll in it. And uh, I got out one of our old vacuum canisters for the old food saver and looked at it. And I said, uh oh, they lied. The new one's round, the old one was oval. They said this new one would fit all food saver accessories, and uh, that was a big lie. I bet they just, there's the old one, what it looked like. I got that off the old machine. and um, I bet they just changed it so everybody has to go out and buy all new accessories now with this new thing. That really stinks. And that vacuum hose, actually, that, that little pull-out thing works really nice on this one, and you know, you do have a, uh, a cutter built in 
so you can actually um, make your own bags and cut them as you're make, sealing one. So, you know, you just pull it out, cut it, seal one, pull it out, cut it, seal one. And uh, it looks like it should work good with that, you know, latch on it to hold everything down. I'm kind of thinking now that probably what I'll wind up doing is getting a, um, a vacuum chamber type sealer in the future to go with this here. Because I really need this one for, you know, certain things and for like long bags of ribs and stuff like that. But the chamber one would be good for other things. And uh, these are, you know, the Avid Armor vacuum bags. And I'll put some links to them. And um, I really like them. They work good. And uh, the cost them is, you know, less than the Food Saver bags. And they actually feel like they're a little bit heavier material than the new ones that I just got. So, um, and there's that thing. It's got a five-year warranty on it. I don't know what that means. And it says compatible with all Food Saver accessories. And that's a bunch of garbage. And for household use only, it says on this one. And then it's also made in China like the Avid Armor one and just about everything else. And I know a lot of people are expecting me to, you know, buy one of these heavy-duty commercial ones and, you know, be happy with it. But I just couldn't get it to work right. So, you know, I really did wind up going back to the food saver that right now it's, um, you know, the best for me. And uh, it's about, I don't want to go spending six, dollars $700 for, you know, just a better sealer than the Avid Armor. I decide I'd put that towards the chamber sealer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.